In the last video, I explained that I rationalized getting this huge, horrible, plastic rink liner by telling myself that we could get a few years' use out of it. As it would turn out, it would be nothing more than a huge economic, social, and environmental disaster. So here's the problem with reusing a rink liner. You don't know you have a leak until you have a leak. And by the time you have a leak, it's too late to do anything about it. Once the liner is in place, you learn that you have a leak when you see that your rink doesn't fill up and when you see the ground around the outside of the rink all soggy. A few days later, after most of the water is run out of the rink, I walked around to see if I could spot an obvious leak, but no such luck. So, I got this, uh, this other bright idea. I thought, well, how about on this really cold day, I'll just trickle the water in really slowly. Maybe the water will freeze before it can leak out. But that didn't work out either. So I've learned that there is another way to build a backyard rink, a way that doesn't require a plastic liner. But that would mean clearing out all of the snow and ice that had accumulated in this failed rink so that we could try this other approach. And for the deep end, that would mean getting out the sledgehammer. Thanks to YouTube, I now understand that there is another approach to making a backyard rink. It takes a lot of time and effort and patience, but it can be done without a liner. And I gotta tell you, I will not be sad to see this huge, messy, awkward liner go. I never could stand it. I can't tolerate the idea that I ever bought it and I, I feel horrible about the whole thing, but I just had to start tearing that liner out, bundling it up, and facing the fact that I would have to get rid of this huge piece of plastic that probably represents uh, a year's worth of plastic consumption by our household. Now all of the ice that used to be inside the rink now outside of it, and our rink now awaits the first major snowfall so that we can build a linerless backyard rink. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and leave me a comment while you're here. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss the next part in this series.